right, moving on to our next topic. So we've pre we've reviewed exponents and how we're going to kind of use their properties. Well, let's talk about logs and their properties. Well, since logs come from exponents, these same properties still apply. But the true, this is the formal definition of a log, but where it's really going to help you out is recognizing, A, that it's an inverse. Hey, in trig, we did that. We had standard uh, trigonometric equation, trig of an angle is equal to the side, and then we inverted the trig, inverse trig of the side is equal to the angle, blah, blah, blah. Well, something similar happens with exponents and logs. They are inverses of each other. So when you solve a log, you might be solving an exponent. When you solve an exponent, you might be solving a log, blah, blah, blah. So how does that look? You recalled this in class, but here is the log form and the exponential form. I've color coded it to kind of help you out, or I've noted them as well to help you out. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to evaluating them. Pretty simple, log base 3 of 81 would be where my pen go, okay? So this would be the same as saying 3 to the what equals 81. Well, 3 to the what is my next power? I think it's to the fourth. So let's check that 3, 9, 27, 81. Very good. So then my answer here is simply 4. What about this one? Ooh, that one's kind of ugly looking, isn't it? Well, the reality of it is, is it's saying 5 to the what is equal to the square root of 5. Well, if I rewrite the square root of 5 in its exponential form, I already have my answer. 5 to the what is equal to 5 to the 1 half? Well, there's my answer, 1 half. Boom, I'm done. All right, what about this one? 7 to the what is equal to 1 over 49? Well, that one's a little bit tougher. Well, first, let's ask ourselves 7 to the what is just equal to 49. Hey, that's 7 squared. So I'm actually looking at 7 to the what is equal to 1 over 7 squared. Hey, if I remember my negative properties, if I'm on bottom, I'm actually on top if I move it negatively. So this is 7 to the negative 2. So our answer is negative 2. Okay, and I think this is my final one, the log base 2 of 2. This one should be your easiest question ever, log base 2 of, a, of your answer. So 2 to the what power is equal to 2? Well, anything raised to what will always equal itself. Is it the 0th power? Is it the first power? Which one, guys? I'm here to tell you it's the first power. 2 raised to the first power is equal to itself. So this cancels out and becomes 1. That should be a property, and we will learn about properties as we continue on. Um, well, there it is. there's our first set. <laughs> so log base b of 1 is always equal to 0. So log of 1 is always equal to 0. Uh, log base b of b is equal to 1. We just saw that. Log base 2 of 2 is equal to 1. Log base 36 of 36 is equal to 1. No matter what, it's always going to be 1 right there. Log base b of b to the x is equal to x. Well, hey, doesn't that make sense? If I have log base 2 of 2 to the x, if all of this becomes 1, the only thing left is x. So that's an easy property. And finally, uh, b raised to the power log base b of x is just x. So this is saying 2 raised to the power log base 2 of x, this will cancel out. And again, that's just property manipulation. You can We can test it out as we continue on. Um, but that's these are properties that you just have to kind of recognize. And when you're solving an equation, these properties are your best friends because it helps ugly things just become 0 or 1 or x. And isn't that so much easier to work with? So here's some properties of logs for me to evaluate. Log base 5 of 125. Well, I can rewrite 125 as 5 cubed. So if I write log base 5 of 5 cubed, hey, log base 5 of 5 disappears, and the only answer left is 3. What about this one? 12 to the log base 12, 4.7. This all cancels out. So your only answer left is 4.7. Okay, so here are some common logs. Log base 1 is 0. You have to know that always. Well, what about log? Um, uh, what base do we assume if no base is provided? Anybody know this answer? It is base 10. And uh, get out of the way. Well, log base 10 is 1. If you can't see that, that's what this says over here. Log base 10 is 1. And uh, log base 10 to the x just becomes 10 because guess what our base is right here? It's base 10. And this becomes x. So these are your common logs because we know we are in base 10. And uh, one common log that wasn't placed on here is log of 0 is undefined. Okay, I don't know why that wasn't on there. My apologies. So 
how do I evaluate this question? Well, this is actually easier than it looks because if I rewrite this as scientific notation, I'm moving it to the right by three. So this can actually be rewritten as log uh, to the base 10 of 10 to the negative three. Well, if I have a base 10 here, all this disappears and my only answer left is negative three. What about this one? Well, again, we assume base 10. So all of this disappears and the only answer is five. Uh, here we have a funky log base 10 of 26. Uh, I don't think I remember how I solved this. Hmm. Honestly, I think these are in here as, uh, what are they called? Not distractors, but hey, how would we have solved this? We wouldn't be able to solve this using a common log. I'll triple check for sure when we look at this. What's going on with a negative value? Well, if log of zero is undefined, guess what? Log of negative values are also undefined. And this goes into what do you know about um, the shape of the log base graph? It is never on this side of our range unless we transformed the graph itself, but this uh, it wouldn't naturally occur. And then log base 26, I believe that this is going to be our change of base formula. And so this one, we would have to do log base uh, 26 divided by log base 10. Okay. And moving on to natural logs. So if we have exponents and they have a natural base E and we have logs, guess what? They have a natural base as well. We call it the natural log, but we actually, instead of writing it as NL, we denote it as LN. So natural base log of one is also zero. Guess so log of... Um, so log of log of one is zero. Natural base of one is zero. So there is a distinct connection point right there. Uh, the natural log of E is one because these cancel each other out always. Natural log and E will cancel each other out just like uh, log and base 10 cancel each other out. So here are those statements. So here natural log of E to the 0.7 that disappears. My only answer left is 0.73. Natural log of negative five undefined. E to the ln of 6, this disappears. The only thing left is the number 6, so that's my answer. And finally, you have some questions here. So just a recap review. Um, with these types of questions, if you can cancel out stuff, you're just going to be left with your answer. If it looks funky and you probably can't do it, your answer either is undefined or it has to be solved with a calculator. So good luck on those questions for yourself.